My show's a combination of uh, magic and stand-up comedy, so there's lots of jokes, there's lots of tricks. It's me on stage <laughs> <laughs> trying to make people laugh. Yeah, it's. Uh, there's, I don't want to spoil any surprises by telling you exactly what's in there. Yeah. But in broad terms, I'm defying scientific law. I mean, there's uh, mind reading. Yeah, the sleight of hand. I tick all those magic boxes, or try to at least. OK. Do you look at scientific law and see which bits you want to disprove? I and spit then work in the backwards face like of scientific that. law, <laughs> yeah. But I do work backwards. That's sort of how I figure out a trick. So I'll have, like, an idea for something, write something down in the, in the notebook, and it can stay in there for six months, and then I kind of work backwards when I'm preparing a show. It's like, oh, that was a good idea, but how am I going to do that? Appearing trifle. OK, we, uh, <laughs> you know, it, that's sort of the process, really. So you've been doing magic since you were a kid. Mm. When did the stand-up become part of the mix? Uh, well, I um, I moved to London and I moved to London because I had a bit of work on at the time and then I had a, I had a dry patch, uh, as some, can sometimes happen in this business. I wanted to be an actor as a kid and I liked the idea of being on stage. So I was looking for somewhere where I could do magic on a, on a stage uh, and I saw all these comedy clubs everywhere and uh, I just dropped in at like an open mic night and, uh, and sort of went from there. Got bitten by the bug and slowly built up the act. Why do you think magic is so popular right now? When you're fooled by a, a magic trick, I mean, really deceived and bamboozled, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. You know, we live in a world where, you know, there's so little left to be discovered. It's nice to have a little bit of, oh, my goodness, maybe I don't know everything. You know, to have the rug pulled from beneath you is, uh, is good. I think people like that. It's a bit of an escape. OK, well, let's see what you can do. It's a card trick. I've got a pack of cards, and you know what? I was going to put that on the table, but why don't you hold on to the deck? Don't take the cards out of the box just yet. Just you hold on to the deck. Now, um, there's 52 cards in the box. Uh, I've taken out the jokers. Um, now, you know that in a deck of cards, there, there, are, there are four suits. So there's, uh, there's clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. I want you to pick a suit, and you can name it out loud. Hearts. You want a heart, OK. So of the hearts, there are 13 cards. There's the ace to the king of hearts. Uh, and I want you to pick a value, so you can either have a picture or a number. I'm going to go for a number. OK, you're going to go for a number card. Yeah. OK, so it's a heart, it's a number, and what number would you like to go for? Six. Six of hearts. So we had uh, 52 cards, and we got it down to one, and all those decisions were yours, and you made them right here. We didn't prearrange anything. Now, I didn't tell you what I'd done up front, but what I actually did was I, um, I removed one card from the pack earlier, and I flipped it face down. OK, so in that pack, 51 cards are face up and there's one card face down. You came up with a card yourself. It was the... Six of hearts. Six of hearts. I'll do this really slowly. There really is nothing in my hands. You were holding this the whole time. If I take the cards out, if I thumb through, you will see that all of the cards face the right way, with the exception of one card. Like I said, 51 cards are face up, uh, one is face down. You came up with a card, it was the... Six of hearts. No! Hearts, there it is. Yep. That's ridiculous. Crazy, right? How did you do that? It's magic.